Hi, I'm Mark, and the other day in the post I received this really exciting package from GiftGaff, and inside it is the LG G3 smartphone for me to review for you guys, but I thought before I reviewed it I'd make a bit of an unboxing video so you can see what's inside the phone. So let's unbox this and check out what's inside. Now the box itself has got this kind of nice shiny effect on the front which you probably can't see um, and it's got lines across it and that just goes on all the way around the outside of the box with just LG and G3 all around it. If we flip the box over to the back we can see some of the specs of the G3. It's got a 5.5 inch quad HD screen. It's got the Snapdragon 801 processor. It's got a 1 watt speaker with a kind of booster amp. It's got a 30 megapixel dual flash camera. Uh, it has laser autofocus to help focus your camera really quickly. And it's got a 3000 uh, mAh battery, which they reckon is pretty good in terms of performance and battery life. But I guess we'll find that out as we review it later on, which will be on another video. So let's flip it back over and let's open the box. The top just lifts off like this. And the first thing you see is the phone that does pretty much take up the whole size of the box. This is the first time I've seen the phone. Um, just first impression, the kind of gap around the edge of the screen is really quite thin. That's really impressive. Uh, and the phone itself is quite thin as well, actually, and it's really light. Um, the back of it's slightly curved just around the edges, uh, which means it should sit nice and easily in your hand. Um, and actually, for a 5.5 inch screen, this feels like it could quite easily be uh, usable in one hand, which would be really good. LG have kind of gone for their approach of not a lot going on on the sides, but you've got your volume buttons and your power button on the back, and there's your camera and the flash. On the bottom of the phone, you've got uh, the USB port and the headphone socket. So we'll just pop the phone to the side for now and see what else is in the box. That's a flap. We've got our quick startup guide here, which I think we need to work out where to put the SIM. If we dive further into the box, we reach uh, our charger plug, the USB cable, and we've got a pair of earphones as well. Let's have a let's get rid of the box and just have a closer look at the earphones. So the earphones, you've got your headphone jack. They've got this kind of nice uh, silver design with LG on them. Uh, they look like they sit quite nice in your ears uh, and then you've got your volume controls as well and a control if you want to, uh, I guess, use voice control to make calls and things. Um, they look pretty well made actually, nice kind of flat cable. Um, they look pretty good. So let's, uh, let's get a SIM card in this phone and see what it's like when we switch it on. The back unclips just here, there's a little slot. I'm always slightly wary of these backs because I feel like I'm going to break them. It comes off nice and easily. Okay, so now we're zoomed in. If you look carefully, you can see there is space for the micro SIM, but also a micro SD card, which you can expand up to 128 gigabytes. There's lots of space for additional memory. The SIM card just slots in nice and easily, so you need a micro SIM for this. So we'll take the SIM and we'll just pop it in like so, nice and easy. And then we'll pop the battery back in and clip the back on and we'll power it up and see what happens. Okay, so as I said earlier, the power button is on the back of the phone, so we'll just hold that down for it to come on. Okay, so it's booted up, so we've got our options for language and things, so we're just going to press next and try and click through these. So it's asking us to set a knock code, which is LG's new kind of security method, so we'll try that. So it says tap quarters three to eight times to set the lock code. The more you tap, the more security increases, so we'll do... We'll just go for opposites and keep saying simple to start with. So this is a home screen, we've got these nice kind of rounded icons for your contacts and your web browser and they all look really nice, we've got a folder there which pops out like that. Uh, go into the main menu, uh, looks very similar to a lot of Android menus um, but does seem to look slightly flatter. So yeah, this is the LG G3. Um, initial impressions, I'm really impressed with it. It feels really nice to hold. You can just about hold it and use it in one hand which is always good, especially when it's got a 5.5 inch screen. LG seems to have done a really good job with design, it's light to hold, and I'm looking forward to playing around with it for a few days and then bringing you guys a proper review really soon. So I hope you've enjoyed this unboxing and I'll see you again soon.